Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now we're going to be looking at G.I. Joe Classified Series, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, Snake Eyes, and Storm Shadow. Snake Eyes is number 16 in the Classified Series right there. Here's the artwork. You see Henry Golding, I think that's his name. The poster for the Snake Eyes movie. Storm Shadow. Yeah, they both have the Rashikage symbol right there. Uh, I'm going to have thoughts on the movie in this video. Here's this right there. Yeah, so I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to save some of it for the end because I know I'm going to have thoughts while I'm moving this junk around. Alrighty now, folks. Here are Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes out of the packaging. And they I. I jokingly say they I, but they have one piece of articulation missing, both of them, that takes away from the whole thing, and they have a distinct lack of accessories. If I am to believe something I watched on a podcast, I can't remember which podcast this was, I hear that there is a false sense of parody with these and their other toy lines. Since the licensing fees cost so much and Marvel Legends and Star Wars can't have but a certain amount of accessories and whatnot, I heard that they intentionally limit how many accessories these G.I. Joes can have regardless of the fact that Hasbro owns the, the license. They, they completely own this property and they could put as many <laughs> accessories in there as they want. And one thing that I'm going to keep complaining about is they definitely need more hands. Hands, hands, hands all around. The cool thing about these two in particular, though, is they both come with two face sculpts or whatever, or two, what do they call it, portraits. I'll let you see this one. He looks like a nondescript ninja, really. Due to the movie and how that went, for some reason he actually did. He actually did wear this outfit. For whatever reason, he doesn't have an Arashikage symbol, so you could put him in with anything if you wanted to. Here's his other face. You get to see that scar on it. And look at that. That looks like a real person looking at you, doesn't it? You sicken me, you Americans. But, yeah, this is removable, so technically he has four accessories. This, the the two swords, the other head sculpt, because I would count both of them, but you need at least one head anyway. <laughs> and I guess you could technically remove this little skirt thing off of him if you tried hard enough. But, yeah, cool. Articulation. Here you have the ball at the base of the neck, so that you do get wiggle at the base of the neck, so it can go forward and backwards and tilt to the side and rotate if you like. Look at that. You can look up a ton with both heads. Look down. You get... Well, I mean, come on. I know this can go up more than that. There we go. The arm can go up 90 degrees, and you get some butterfly motion mostly forward that's that's the better thing to have but unfortunately let me bend it right here before I lie to y'all this is how straight you go without using the butterfly when you use the butterfly it doesn't seem to crunch in so might as well not use that and going back you could do whatever you want with that and you see this swivel and got the hinge right there and both of these have the wrist that goes this way and swivels. Ab crunch is a lot. And on top of that, you know you get that ball at the base to imitate the old school G.I. Joe articulation. You get the drop down hips that go off to the side like that. And of course that allows them to kick up more than 90 degrees. I think this one is more hindered because of the sculpt right there. You get this swivel. You get this. There is no boot swivel or mid calf swivel. That's what I hate. And these legs look a ton like the snow or arctic storm shadow right there. 
and you get the pivot with the holes at the bottom so yeah and of course the swords can sheathe on the back one of these is always loose let me put this one I think is this one yes that one so that I don't know if that's gonna be a problem on your copy but it is on mine guys let's boost the lights up a little bit more because he is so so dark and authentic to the first release of his character ever but they did try to throw in hints of red and the knee pads right there the silver right here you do have the more shiny parts of the suit like right here you can see the belt right there is more shiny than the regular plastic the arms are more shiny right there where there's not supposed to be this armor right there and he does have this belt right here across his body and you get this right here this sheath and of course the Arasakage symbol and that and you get the helmet right here so yeah here are the shoes and this gear down here I wonder, because this movie has been in development forever. I wonder, because this the guards down here are similar. Uh, you ain't gonna be able to see him. I wonder, did they use the, his boots for the Arctic version first, and then they came back and and reused it for the original character they wanted it to? Well, yeah. <clears throat> Of course you can sheathe the sword so this is and it kind of gets stuck that's two accessories so far and I guess three of you include the, the strap since that is removable but he does come with these like machetes if I can get it in his freaking hand there you go they have symbols on there I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't even notice that it was an actual pattern to that pattern until looking at it on camera right now. So that's what you're working with. He comes with two of these and he has no place to store them like on his body. Let's show you the neck art. This collar is soft like McFarlane is doing. So that gives me hope for the future. Actually, they've been using this material. Like this whole crotch and butt part right here. And look at that nice snake eyes booty right there his butt might be bigger than the baroness <laughs> um this all that is made out of a softer material on top of the hard plastic they've been doing that since the line started but let me let you see this his head is capable of looking up a lot which is great of course and down and let, let's pop this head off and give you the is it Henry Golden I hope I'm not saying that wrong but now we're gonna have to bring the light down because he is light skin there's that I mean the main bad thing about it is let me go even further just the blank dead stairs that they always have that's about the only real problems that I have but the haircut is spot on. That's how it was. And that's cool. On my copy, this scabbard right here does not want to stay on his back too much. But pretty much the same articulation as Snake Eyes. I mean, as Storm Shadow, sorry. The neck can rotate on the ball. The arms go out there. You get more smoother back motion and forward motion. The arm seems to be able to come in a bit more a little tiny bit swivel here double hinged elbows right there the wrists go up and down in that sword holding motion like storm shadow the ab crunch i'm gonna leave that there the back crunch is that much the forward crunch is a lot and you get i feel like you get more side to side motion on him than you get on storm shadow and the legs kick up a lot more than Storm Shadow. Like a lot more than 90 degrees. 
of course you can go up to that far and swivel and knees bend that much ankles come forward back ankle pivot holes in the bottom of the feet my surface that i'm reviewing can be a little bit lopsided but i can't get these dudes to stand up straight <laughs> it's frustrating it's worse than mcfarland figures but storm shadow can he's a little bit taller i don't know how much you can tell so i tried to put them like let me move these i tried to put them like back to back the hips collapsed as much as possible but storm shadow is very slightly taller here's arctic storm shadow and here's zero zero classified snake eyes it looks like he's a little bit taller too it's about the same height as these two storm shadows i know somebody probably wanted to see this and here's something that's amazing the ball joints are different sizes so that head wasn't even on there. The ball joint on his new body is bigger than the one they gave us here. So I can sit that there, but it is not connected at all, to be honest. It's the reverse problem for this guy. The ball joint on this snake eye's body seems to be a little bit too big. So I can't even, I mean, it's, it looks okay, I guess, but it's a little bit high, I think. I can't get the head all the way down all the way down so yeah and i'm pretty sure nobody wanted to do this anyway so yeah uh now that we've seen all this stuff movie thoughts um the movie was a movie it was okay uh at the end of the day at first it seemed like it was for older kids and or older kids and adults and people that like were fans of gi joe but, hmm, and they was kind of grounded in reality for the most part at the beginning. But towards the halfway point, things started getting a little bit mystical and, and, and over the top, just like the old G.I. Joe cartoon. But none of that, if, if all of that was being integrated throughout the whole movie, it would have been okay. But, yeah. I mean, I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed the actors. I definitely liked the actor that played Storm Shadow. Like, I really believed it. And in the movie, they gave you a really good reason for Storm Shadow to not like Snake Eyes. But uh, the logic behind it, and this is why I was saying you would think that it was supposed to be for older kids and adults. But... I think they kind of was making it towards little kids with with certain details there you would have to really turn your brain off and just go for the ride to accept the plot details in the movie because they kind of jumped the shark a little bit in certain areas and yeah that made me unsatisfied and the way it ended it kind of was open ended and didn't really end on a way where you felt like you got the full on Snake Eyes origin. You feel like, okay, th there's going to be another movie. Or maybe another two movies or something. But anyhow. I hope you all enjoyed this. I got these figures off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I don't know if they are still available. But I'm going to put a link in the description. For where you can find it on Amazon. Thank you for watching this. Until next time. T-Man978. Out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.